In this video, we are going to talk about an interesting game played between Vidit Gujarati vs Sam Shanklin and this game from the Tata Steel Masters 2022. And total number 14 number of participants are playing the tournament, including Magnus Carlsen. Just check out this uh, player's list over here. And uh, okay, definitely the top seed player is Magnus Carlsen. So in the first round, the game that I liked the most was the game between Vidit vs Sam. First of all, every game was interesting, but the game that I want to show you to every chess player is between Vidit vs Sam because this game I think is going to help you to build your positional understanding of the chess game. So let's check it out. So Vidit with the white pieces started out the game with 1d4 because he like he's a positional type of player. Yeah, when he's in much win situation, he opens up the game with 1e4. But it's the starting of the tournament, so he decided to continue the game calmly by playing d4. Knight f6, c4, e6, and already we have knight to c3. Basically allow allowing black to play bishop to b4 and enter in the names of India. Usually all those who, who play the queen's gambit must know that a common move is to play knight to f3. Knight c3 is also the common move. But after playing knight f3, white gets an idea. If black tries to play bishop to b4 check, I can simply play knight to d2 at the place of playing knight c3. And after you can say castle a3, black is forced to capture because if you try to went back with the bishop, I, I'm already better with b4. Yeah, already having space on the queen side. So after bishop into d2, bishop into d2, white pawn structure is already very nice. And white is having no problem. But after playing knight to c3, bishop to b4, knight f3 castle, after a3, black can capture the knight, and you can say that white's pawn structure is not so good. So, uh, but the advantage of playing knight c3 in this position is that you are not committing the knight on f3, so that you are already having some options to put the knight on e2 at the place of f3 which are we are going to look in the game so after playing knight c3 uh, knight c3 sam at the place of playing bishop b4 nimzo he decided to play d5 we have c into d5 and now we have e into d5 so basically after trading the pawns in the center we can say that now the game is a complete positional game yeah so all the positional players or you can say every chess player should watch this game to understand the level of a positional game. So after e into d5, we have bishop to g5, pinning up the knight and idea is to capture the knight so that on the next move, I can go for capturing the pawn on d5. We have c6 protecting the pawn on d5 and now we have e3. And in this position, if you try to play bishop f5, I can simply play queen f3 hitting the bishop. And after bishop g6, uh, g g6, I can simply trade off the materials. And in this position, you can say that white is having a slight edge because black pawn structure is not so good. So at the place of playing bishop f5, Sam decided to play bishop e7. And now we have bishop to d3, short castle, and now we have h3. The most common move in this position is to play knight, queen c2, or you can say knight f3. Queen c2 looks a very good move because white idea is to simply long castle, perhaps attack on the king side. And it could be a very nice idea. But h3 also very nice idea stopping uh, some ideas of stopping this uh, knight g4 or you can say bishop g4. And perhaps the idea is still to play queen c2 attack with the g4. We have knight e8 and now we have bishop f4. Not trading the bishop because the bishop is very well placed on f4. Bishop d6, queen f3. Queen f6 and now we have knight e2 so that in this position you can say that white didn't play knight f3 but he played knight e2 which allowed white to put his queen to f3 followed by knight e2 and you can say that it's a much better version because usually when you try to put your knight to f3 you usually put your queen to c2 and the queen is not so strong on c2 but after putting the queen off f3 you can say it's the most ideal square for the queen so after knight e2 we have a bishop trade knight d6 and now we have h4 so after playing h4 it's a very commercial move so we can definitely say that after playing h4 white wants to attack on the king's side white 
is planning to do a long ca uh, long side castle already perhaps king d2 could also be a very interesting move because it also allows white to bring the rook into the game so h4 and now we have rook to e8 long castle bishop to f5 asking for the bishop trade we have a trade and now we have g4 attacking the queen already i can say that i i must prefer white in this position because white is the one who is who is attacking in this position and every chess player wants to attack here yeah? so we have queen f6 g5 queen f5 so basically white got two moves and black simply just moved his queen twice we have queen h3 by white in this position asking for queen trade in this position there are many players who likes to play something like attacking chess by playing h5 and after queen takes rook g1 sacrificing a pawn but but building up a very strong attack on the king but what vidit thought was after h5 perhaps sam can play knight a6 and after knight b4 the light squares are incredibly weak which can create some weaknesses for black uh, for white so that's why he thought that at the place of attacking i must trade the queens and after trading the queen so white is still having an edge because he's still attacking uh the black king we have knight to d7 b3 taking away the c4 square from the uh, knight knight e4 we have a knight trade king d2 rook e8 knight e2 so basically rerouting the knight rook e6 knight to g3 g6 stopping this knight f4 knight f5 ideas perhaps knight h5 ideas as well g6 and now we have h5 so and then the next move played by sam was uh, i like that move very much because after h5 we can say that white idea is very clear he wants to play rook h1 followed by capturing the pawn and rook h8 is already game over for black so sam played c5 which i liked very most if you try to capture the pawn i can simply capture with the knight and knight e4 already looks a very nice move for black and black is completely fine so with it decided to play rook h1 and now we have rook to e7 fine move but a must a but a much better move would have been to play knight f8 and after pawn takes pawn takes knight is already covering both the pawns so black is already fine but sam decided to play rook e7 his idea was that if white tries to catch uh, capture the pawn he can capture with the f pawn and the rook is still defending the pawn on h7 but it turned out to be that with it decided to play rook to c1 going for the c pawn we have seen to d4 in d4 and now we have knight to f8 rook to f uh, rook to c5 going for the pawn on d5 rook to d6 rook c8 rook d7 so perhaps black wants a rook trade we have knight e2 rook to d8 we have a rook trade and now we are knight f4 so basically you can see the controller of the game is the white white is the one who is going to control the game because white is the one who is attacking in this position white is already white is already having a slight edge i suppose because white can simply play rook c3 rook to c7 and whereas black is having all his pieces very passive so knight f4 we have a mistake or you can see the blunder by sam f6 a much better move would have been to capture the pawn and after rook into h5 knight g6 and black is fine but f6 the idea of sam was in the game we have g into f6 and he played king to f7 and his idea was that he's still going to capture the pawn on f6 which will help him which will help his king basically to activate but it turned out that after pawn trade knight d3 king captures the pawn but now we have check king e7 knight to e5 so white is having a very nice uh, activation of the pieces the knight the knight on e5 is nicely placed black wants to, because if black is like black wants to play knight d7 in this position asking for knight trade but black cannot because the g6 uh, because the g6 pawn is hanging and white is winning so after knight into e5 it's actually white is the one who's going who is completely winning in this position you can say at least better because the rook c7 ideas are already very strong we have king e6 a4 a5 
king d3 trying to bring the king rook b8 black idea is to play b5 attack on the pawn on a4 trying to open up his b5 and now we have rook to c7 g5 rook to g7 going for the pawn on g5 king f5 king e3 b6 and now we have king to f3 so white idea is to give a check to the black king followed by king b4 king to g4 capturing the pawn and it's winning so we have g4 checked by sam knight into g4 and now we have knight to e6 attacking the rook knight check king to f6 rook to g4 so white is already a pawn up b5 and now we have knight into d5 capturing the pawn a much better move would have been to play rook to d8 defending the pawn but okay it looks like already a very passive move white can simply play king e2 followed by king d3 rook g1 rook c1 rook c6 and it's winning but you can say a long path but on the other hand black can't do anything much so that was the reason black decided to attack he he, he decided to open up the position we have knight into d5 and now white is two pawn up king to f7 king e4 bishop uh, b into a4 b into a4 rook b to f3 rook b3 f4 rook a3 knight b6 defending the pawn rook b3 knight to d5 rook a3 so if you try to play knight b6 rook b3 is a draw so we have king to e5 by with it rook into a4 sacrificing the pawn because you can't defend the pawn or else the game would have been ended in a draw we have f5 knight f8 king d6 knight h7 f6 king f8 if you try to capture the pawn i can simply play rook f4 sorry rook f4 and the knight is already dead and it's winning for white so we have king to f8 king to e5 rook a1 knight f4 rook e1 check king f5 king e8 rook g8 check knight f8 you cannot move the king because rook g7 check and you lose the knight so black is forced to play knight f8 and now we have d5 rook to f1 we have d6 so both the pawns are incredibly strong and white is completely winning rook d1 knight g6 and now the knight is finally dead on f8 we have rook to f1 check king to e5 we have a couple of checks by sam and after king b5 if you try to give me a check i can simply play king a6 and the knight is dead so sam decided to move the king sacrificing the knight or you can say you can the knight was already dead we have king into d6 and in this position if somehow black is able to capture the f6 pawn then it would be a draw because rook versus rook knight ends in a draw theoretically so after king into e d6 we have f7 rook check king to a4 king e6 knight h8 and white is simply protecting the f7 pawn with the knight idea is to simply move the rook give a check make a queen and it's already over for black so that's why after playing knight h8 on the move number 73 sam shanklin with the black pieces resigned the game and with it with the white pieces played a fantastic game and won the game so this was a very interesting game played by these two top players but this time with it was the one uh, taking the game and uh, all the all the players i'm pretty sure that this game must help must have helped you to increase your chess knowledge because positional understanding is very important in a game of chess because you often land in a positional position which you if you don't know how to play the position if you don't have the positional understanding then playing the position doesn't make any sense So after watching this game I hope that this might have helped you to increase your chess knowledge a bit and if it has helped you to increase your chess knowledge then make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to my channel if you haven't done it and make sure to share this video with everyone so that every player who wants to increase their chess knowledge would be able to in increase the knowledge by watching this game or you can say learning with this game So I'm going to come up with these interesting videos for you. So till then, stay tuned and keep watching One Shot Chess.